One more night, one more night Say there's gonna be a change Cause I feel like I'm just holding on to yesterday But if I wait till the summer, summer, oh If I wait till the summer, summer, oh But if I wait till the summer, summer Hey guys, what's up? Some of you might be a little bit confused as to where I am right now. I'm currently in San Diego helping my friend Elliot with a secret project. I don't think I can tell you what it is yet because it's a secret. I came down to the James Coffee shop place to work this morning because I knew there was one or two here so I thought I would check it out. It was pretty cool. Something I've been wanting to try for quite some time now is a cinemagraph and if for those of you who don't know what that is, it's sort of like blending cinematography with a picture. It is very bright today. I've been meaning to try to make one for quite some time now, but I've never gotten around to doing it. So I figured why not do that now while I have time before we start shooting later today to show you. And also, I've literally never done this before, so it's gonna be me learning how to do this and then trying to teach you. So some things to keep in mind before you start shooting. You have to keep the camera stable, which I don't have a tripod, so I just put it on a table, literally. And then you have to have one specific thing that's moving in the picture that you want to, you know, have that loopable function later on. So you can't have too much going on. You have to try and have only one specific point of motion if you can. So I scooted down here to come work, but I've discovered real fast that's pretty hard to scooter and film at the same time. The vlog anymore. Oh dang, I was in your vlog <laughs> for two seconds. You cut me out of the rest because you hate me. Wow. Our car, our car died. The car died. <laughs> our car died. You guys are so blurry in the background. Follow me on Instagram. Wow. No, but we're on location to shoot for Elliot's thing and literally we're not there quite yet. We stopped too early and then the car just dies out of nowhere. This is literally the most ridiculous thing on the planet. Okay, does anyone actually know how to- I don't think so. <laughs> no one knows how to actually restart the car. Who wants to find a YouTube video? I know, honestly. <laughs> of course this will happen, you know? <laughs> On our well, last Happy day. Saturday, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess while we're waiting for to get jump started. This morning I tried making a practice cinemagraph because I literally didn't know how to do it. So I used some of the footage I shot at the coffee shop yesterday. I just wanted to make sure I actually knew what I was doing before I talked to you guys about it a bit more. And I want to shoot a couple more today anyway. Kind of twirled the like my straw in the water and then I lifted my hand out of the shot so you could get the water moving. And that was like my thing of movement. I'll go more in detail later, like the actual editing process. I did it in Photoshop. Um, so if you guys watch one of my older videos where I talk about editing video in Photoshop, then you already know a little bit about that. If you want to watch that video, I'll have it linked up here or up here. I've been doing YouTube for how long? Like three years now? Still can't point to the right corner. Whatever. I've also been trying to think of ways that I would personally use cinemagraphs. I think they'd be cool for things like Instagram, but also when it comes to B-roll, like putting those into B-roll sequences, I could, I think could be pretty interesting. I'm upset, man. Is it still not working? It's not, and I just, I'm like, I, huh. You would hear, you I would hear know. like a t No, I looked it up and the, there's like levels. There's levels to a battery like, being dead? <laughs> what? I don't know. Hello, welcome back to my dorm room. Yes, we are back in Chicago. I know this vlog is a little bit all over the place. I'm going to show you the editing process to how I made that um, cinemagraph earlier. I didn't get any other good footage that day. I kind of got distracted shooting the project and I just wasn't really paying attention to using my own camera for this vlog, so I'm sorry. But I still want to show you that other cinemagraph I made earlier. I feel like I should be facing you a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So in order to figure out how to do this, I'm not gonna lie guys, I watched a Peter McKinnon video. You might be like, Audrey, that's cheating. Is it? I have been very open that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just going through this and teaching you. I found the part where I wanted to start, which is here. We're gonna try and make this real fast so that you can just get what I'm saying and then move on and make your own cinemagraphs. Here's my little loop. Next thing you want to do is you want to copy this layer. I'm just holding down Alt. Okay, I'm lining up the clip with the end of the other clip. Now, 
I'm going to pull this back a little bit, randomly, doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna pull this down. Then you go up to this clip and you put two keyframes for the opacity. You might be like, Audrey, why are you doing this? Just don't question it, just do it. You want this to loop seamlessly, right? So you want the last frame to be the same as the first frame. So by doing what I did with the bottom layer, lining it up so that the last one starts on the last one of the first one, I'm gonna take the opacity down now with the keyframes. It'll just like sort of blend into the first frame so it can loop seamlessly. You get it? If you don't, it's fine. Just copy what I'm doing and you'll see. I didn't get it either until I actually did it myself. Second keyframe you want to bring down to 0% because you want that last frame on the bottom to be visible so that can loop properly. Now we need to make a like an image over it. How the heck do you command option shift E? Command option shift command option shift E. Magic happens. I don't know how. You know what? It doesn't matter. That's the key. So this top layer is just a still image, right? So we only want, I only want the water to be moving in our image. So I'm literally going to make this a mass. Then I go down to here, go to brush, and then I'm going to, I just hit backslash to be able to see what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna go in and erase everything and all the parts that I want to keep moving in the image. Now only the water is moving and it's shifting around and it looks kinda cool. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful and I'll probably be using cinemagraphs in some, of, in some of my videos in the future, maybe sprinkled in with some b-roll. We'll see if that turns out good. Yeah, I hope if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you later this week with another new video. Bye!